Hello, Mess, yes, person from Flowhow. I want to show you how to use the copy paste function when uh, when uh, a refinement around a, a gate is uh, is messing up the mismatching when you have part inserts and a cavity. Um, what I'm using now is uh, what I'm using using now is uh, uh, Moldex uh, re release 14 service pack to 3. I'll start with uh, uh, importing a cavity and uh, insert. Uh, I'll just take them like that. And what I'm uh, when you have a part and part inserts uh, now it's defined as a cavity both, but I'll just make this as a part insert. Part insert there. I'll specify it. Let's say it's a steel plate that's uh, over molded steel. I don't like the yellow. Use this one. Okay, steel. Like this. What I've done with the um, the cat parts I have uh, divided or subdivided the faces, so I have uh, have the same hole even though it's a flat plate. Then uh, if I hide this cavity, I have uh, divided all the faces, so the faces are are the same um, as on the cavity part. That's always good to do it like that because then it's normally easier for Moldex designer to do the mismatching. Okay, show the cavity again. I'll just import some uh, runners. I have some curves. Yeah, total runner. Define this. Let's say 1.5 to 4. Enter and this curve four to five. Like this okay, melt and sensor is that this one on and now I want to go and uh, put some uh, uh, mesh. The models or the cat parts, I'll use a uh, one millimeter. In this case, apply. And I'll not do any refinement, so I'll just off the, off the node seeding. And then I can go to meshing, generate. And now it makes the part insert match, uh, match the contact faces solid part and solid part insert and the runner oops now i got a warning there's a non-matching cell has been detected what is happening if i move take the part away i can see okay here's the problem when uh, the part is uh, putting uh, matching the runner it has to be connected to the part but to have a good mesh around the runner it's also refined on the back side here but if we take the part insert there's no refinement on the part insert okay what can we then do just click this away and the part insert away and here now i actually would like it to have this uh, mesh up here but don't change down here so what i will do is i will uh, take a copy of this mesh and copy down and put into the uh, cavity mesh so I'll start out with uh, with uh, extracting 
the surface mesh, extract surface mesh. If you don't have this icon, you can switch on the toolbars up here. Extract this, and I extract the surfaces from this. And now I delete all solid mesh. Normally when I do that, I just hit generate, keep this, keep attached solid mesh. No. I'll say okay to this. Away with this one, away with the runner, away with the melt entrance. And now I have a, uh, this is a, a big surface mesh connected. Uh, but it's uh, if we take the attributes on it, it has none. And what should I, I would use this surface down the gate. I'll use that so uh, I'll have a side view fix. I'll delete the, this surface and which elements. I'll take all those elements. Yes. And now I have only the bottom surface or the gate. So here it is. And then I have the cavity surface mesh. So now I have to uh, sew this uh, small surface into this big area. What I'll start with is taking this one, make a hole in it, like that, okay. And then I will say, okay, I have to put these elements over so they are also defined as cavity. I can use this copy paste function for that. Copy paste, it asks which surface mesh, this surface mesh, and which elements I want to take every element of this. Okay, and which uh, which uh, parts should it be assigned to our object? I'll take the cavity here and I hit this one. Now we have a it's the copy paste function, so uh, it's not a move layer function somehow. So um, now I have two surface mesh on top of each other. Other and I can uh, delete. I'll mark the non attribute, hit delete, and then I have deleted it. Now I just have to connect, uh, recheck, connect uh, this with this. I can try the fill annular, this one with this one. Ah, it couldn't do that. I didn't expect it to do it, but what I can do is then I can delete some of the mesh here, maybe. So the inner looks like the outer in shape, more or less, with no sharp corners. Let's try here. Uh, also delete this one. So I'll try it again. Fill annular. Uh, couldn't do that. So uh, what I will do then is I will try to mess it with the fill hole. But uh, to do that, I have to have one closed uh, polyline, and I can generate that by uh, sketching an element like that, and this is and uh, yeah. Ah, oh. sketch there, then. And there, to there, to there. Now I have two elements here and it's connected. I'll divide, uh, I'll split this because 
I'll split the lines so I'll get some mesh that looks better. Maybe like that. Okay. And then I can go in, I can always uh, change that. So no worries about that. Fill hole. I'll take this line. Yes. And I'll say from this point to that point. I right click and I get it meshed. And then I have this. Okay, it doesn't look great. I just delete those. And then I can fill that hole like that. So now I have put built in the uh, runner and no refinement on the back sides. Because I know it mess the runner eat every time the, the same way, it's possible now to start up the meshing again. I have also the metal entrance, don't forget that. And it's possible now, go in and generate, hit the, the runner or generate everything. So now I do. I, I have a a model. I hide the part insert. You can see no change there, and uh, still connected the right way up here. So uh, now I have a model I can export for 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 the uh, for the analysis. That's all for now. Thank you and uh, for watching and uh, have a nice day. Bye.